What's up guys, Omar Broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Omay Realty. So we're gonna do another property tour. KB Homes in San Pedro, California. These are townhomes. This one is plan 223, 2233, whatever. Let's go check out this townhome and see what's going on. All right, coming on in. Of course, you know my love for townhomes. Townhomes are the business. This one is I don't know, let's figure this out. Let's see if it's actually worth the, the $1 million price tag that it has going on with it. So as soon as you walk into the front door, you come to the right hand side and then you have um, your uh, guest bedroom. Now the guest bedroom, of course you got your closet. Bam, right there, coming on over here. And it goes the guest bedroom to the patio. Not gonna lie, that's a little bit weird like how are you supposed to is this the only way whatever okay well there is a nice patio the patio is really 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 nice I like how they did this you know of course string lights string lights always make everything better but is it is this the only way from the inside of the house that you could get in maybe because this is like one of those two three level ones that's why it's like that but let's go ahead and go into the other rooms and see what we got going zones full bathroom they did a pretty good job with this one. Now this is a fully upgraded one, and then if you want another, this is a fully upgraded one, so most of these are options that you could add on. You can save yourself some money, do it yourself, but, or you can just have them do it, and it's gonna be a, a little chunk of change. I'll put the list of everything that you could possibly get upgraded, which is, you know, I don't know how you can do that, because it's just everything. Uh, two, car, uh, two car attached garage, then you have your, um, you have your uh, little bench area right over here. All right, now let's go ahead and go up the stairs and check the rest of this guy out. I know you guys hate seeing me go upstairs, which I hate myself for going upstairs, but I guess it's too late now. You could enjoy it. Uh, well, look at this open luxurious son of a bitch over here. Well, God damn, look at this mother fluffer. So you come off to the right hand side of the stairs and then you get your nice little island. You know what, why I like townhomes? You know why townhomes are like my business? Is because A, the like, I mean, even new developments, most new developments are open, but for some reason, I don't know why. I like the fact that I come up the stairs and then I have my living area, bam, living room area over there, my dining area, and it's just like, it's all right here for me. But coming off to the right hand side, then we have your half bathroom right over here. Of course, you got this awesome, awesome big island, which islands now is a must. I don't know why anybody gets anything other than island, but islands are a must in black sink black sink I gotta talk to my wife this black sink is sick so this is a black sink for some of you guys who like like black black is my favorite color um, this one is by Kohler look it up or I'll put it in the link description below uh, then you have yourself like this little kind of like a little wet bar not really a wet bar because there's no sink in here uh, with a they put a, um they put a wine cooler thing under your wine and then over here, right on the other side, because it's always nice to have the kitchen close to the things so you can be a fat ass like me. Uh, you have your living room area, and then boom, you have your 75, 80 inch monstrous TV that they have going on over there. Let's go ahead and go upstairs again. I could probably skip this part. Skip ahead. Focus too, son of a bitch. Coming up to the top of the stairs, uh, this is actually pretty clever because this usually is dead space right here, right? Nobody ever uses this, nobody ever puts anything when you, uh, like in normal, right? But if you put a desk there, and that's a pretty, that's a clever idea. <laughs> and then coming up to the right, this would be, I am going to assume, it is the master bedroom. Master bedroom, coming over here where all the magic happens. Queen size bed to give you a little scale of how big it actually is. And then you have your walk-in closet. 
You know what townhomes are? Townhomes are like really good starter homes. If you, you know, as a growing family and this is that, or if you're a single guy, single girl, or just a couple that doesn't want any maintenance, this is what, and I make these videos so I can help you guys out. I'm, I'm the type of guy that gives back to the people. So if you want up to 50% commission rebate on this property or any other new development or any property out there, link in the description below. If you need mortgaging help, need to get pre-qualified, link in the description below. Coming up to the side, you have the throne, bingo bingo, and then black marble. I like how they that black marble thing. That's actually kind of cool. Except this is so pointless. So they have this, right? This is a shield, like, but there's supposed to be a door here. And you know what the problem with not having a door over here is? Is that all the steam comes out of here. So it never ever gets warm in there. Bad design idea. Bad, don't do this. Bad idea. Take it from me, I'm the asshole who did it, don't ever do it. And then you have your his and her sink, which uh, is this is a little small, not gonna lie, only because I know in my house, my wife, she always has all her makeup shit everywhere. And then I get no space at all. Which I guess that's one of the things when you get married is you don't have any space of your own to begin with. Coming off to the right, you have your um, laundry area right here. And then the other two bedrooms, we'll go ahead and share this guy right here. His and hers, again, you have your little shower. See, like this is what it's supposed to be doing. You need that sliding glass door. Don't try to get fancy. Keep that sliding glass door. And then you have the four, third bedroom, third bedroom. Because there's one, two, three, yeah. Third bedroom, right over here. It's a pretty good size, it's all right. Not too crazy, not too bad. Probably like a, I don't know, 10 by 10. And then coming off to the other one, and then this is the last one. So, overall, townhome layouts are pretty cool. I love townhome. Let's go ahead and do a debrief and, and, and see what's actually going down with the nitty gritty on this property. So one of the coolest things that I forgot to mention as we're coming through, one of the coolest things that you get, especially when you have townhome areas, is you come up and I don't know if you could see, but you get to see the port right out of your living area. Focus, that was sick. All right, so let's go ahead and do a breakdown here. Let's see, got my handy dandy cheat sheet. So these are built by KB Homes. This is the sky view at Point Vista, 27723 Rosewood Lane in San Pedro, California, 90732. This one is actually uh, the three level, tri level as you saw in the video. Uh, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. You could opt to have one of the, um, uh, uh, the den is a flex space, or one of the bedrooms is a flex space, or like a like an office slash den or whatever it is. And this one is at 2,233 square feet. Now there is HOA. Everybody always wants to know. Well, additional costs that I might not need to know. HOA is 152 dollars. Plus they are going to have a gym on site. That's going to cost you an extra 1800 uh, 18 dollars a month. Um, and then the worst out of all of them. There is a Melarus. A Melarus is at $3,500 a year. This is just an additional tax off of the regular tax that you want to pay. Melarus is like, Mela fuck me in the ass. But, the San Pedro, you are centrally located to everything. And it's nice to have new developments because you don't have to worry about all the maintenance. But if you do want or want to tour this property, up to 50% commission rebate. Any lending issue, any lending, Link in the description below. Hit up your boy and I would love to help you out. I would love to gain you as a client. And uh, let's be friends. Next property, peace out. All right guys, Omar here, broker and CEO of the Mortgage Home Realty. So I don't know why I keep introducing myself, but whatever, this is plan. 2057 built by KB Homes. This is gonna be one of those tri-level townhomes. I'm a big fan of townhomes. <sighs> Hate stairs, so let's get ahead and go in. First, as soon as you walk in, I guess you need a mirror to see your face, whatever, take that down. I never understood why you walk in. It's like, what do they call that, feng shui or whatever? It messes up my feng shui. But you have your full bathroom downstairs, right over to Yonda's, and then you're gonna come over to the right-hand side, right-hand side, and then you have your small guest bedroom. Now this, the guest bedrooms are actually there, but I am gonna say one thing. It is really weird how they went ahead and put the guest bedroom downstairs, and the only way to get to your back patio is through the guest bedroom. 
Oh, shit, there's stupid water pictures. Always have to make me go to the bathroom. But they have a patio right here, and the patio is really, really nice. It's small, it's cozy, it's quaint. Is quaint and cozy the same thing? I don't know, I'm stupid. Let's go ahead and go upstairs, because I know you guys love to watch me go up there. Oh, gosh. And it's full of shit. Let's go upstairs. And I hate stairs, so I'm not gonna make you watch. Let me go upstairs. All right, I'm coming up to the top of the stairs, and what in the pottery barn threw up is going on in this area? This is like that straight farmhouse type of thing. So you wanna see? Right over here, we have the big island, which of course, in this world, you need a big island. You need an island. No island, no life. You wanna know why? Because everybody hangs out at the island. You go ahead and come over here, you have this nice, see, once again, this is why I like townhomes. You come across here, you got everything you need here. The wife kicks you out. You get to go ahead and have everything you want in here. How do you make sense now? Wife kicks you out, you use that downstairs. That's your own little guest bedroom slash I got kicked out because I said something stupid, which that happens to me all the time. Come over here, you have your pantry area. Nice little size pantry area. Enough to have enough food for you for the next like, next apocalypse or whatever it is. Fridge. Now there's a one thing that a lot of people don't think about, okay? Fridges. Here we go. Fridges. These are good fridges. Always look out whenever you're going into a new development or wherever you're at, just make sure you always look. If they don't, if they don't offer the, um, the fridge in the unit, which this one does not, all appliances, sorry about that, all appliances are not included, you gotta measure this out and see what, you gotta measure this out and see what the height is and see what the depth is because sometimes, Jesus Christ, what the hell? Because sometimes you'll need a built-in. Now, I didn't do the measurements. I had to go to get a built-in. That motherfucker cost $10,000. Look out for that next time you go. Coming over here, and then you have a nice little dining area that they went ahead and did here. White is... You know, I never... I never understood really why you have to stress this, and even though I have wear like this distressed clothes like buy something brand new that looks like it's been worn a million times but now i understand it actually makes sense in here it actually looks really really nice and especially if you have kids and they nick things up all the time this is actually really really nice and this is what i mean like you see this right here you see that right there like this is just how it came but it makes everything go really really nice in the house together and then you have oh shit this is a real brick well, I'll be damned. See this? It's real great. All right. All right. That looks really, really nice. And then of course you have these beautiful views. Now the views are probably the best thing. I wish, I wish you could capitalize on the views a little bit better and you were able to go ahead and blast this whole wall out and put a patio out there so you could enjoy the port of Los Angeles. I think that's the port of Los Angeles, San Pedro port or whatever it is. And you could see everything over there, but it is what it is. And then you have, of course, your little, this is, the, this is where I would be most of my time, right here. Right here, this is where I would be. Going upstairs, let's go ahead and go upstairs. Skip the stairs, skip the stairs. And then as soon as you come up to the top of the stairs, you have your side-by-side -side washer, dryer, right here in the room next to you. And then, um, not, I don't know why I'm, trying to get excited over washer dryer like you've never seen a washer dryer before. And then to the right at the top of the stairs, you have your um, you have your master bedroom. Now, I don't understand why the master bedroom is here. The master bedroom should have been on the other side because, well, A, you have your washer dryer here. That'll get really, really annoying and I'd rather annoy my kids rather than annoy myself. And you can hear everybody that's coming up the stairs, but whatever. And then we come off to the right. Let's check out the walk-in closet. This is a better walk-in closet. Still a little bit on the smaller side. I guess you could kind of build this out to make it better. And then you have, this is a cozy, let's just call it cozier bathroom. You have your, I mean, it's still a really, really good size. You have your bathtub, and then you have your shower right here. And then you have your his and hers. Can you see that? His and hers sink. 
and then where the business happens, you don't you don't need to see where the business happens. But let's get on into the other rooms. Check those sons of guns out. You have your bathroom right here, and this will be for the other two bedrooms. And then you have a another little corner bedroom, which is probably like around 10 feet by 10 feet. No walk-in closet on this one. It's got one of these slide thingies. And then the last one will be this one. Now let's go ahead and review this property. All right, let's go ahead and do a recap on this guy right here. Now, of course, this is a sky view at Point Vista, 27723 Rosewood Lane, San Pedro, California. Now, this is going to be plan number 2057. Three stories, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. You could opt, I'm assuming, that downstairs for a home office or like, whatever okay this one is going to be starting at 1.151 million and i don't know why this one is actually more expensive than the bigger floor plan one not sure at all fool me i have no idea but hoa fees are 152 dollars uh then you have a gym membership fee of 18 dollars and then you do have the Mela at 3500 dollars a year uh for 50 percent commission rebate or any lending hit up your boy link in the description below appreciate the love appreciate anything there is no love i get shit subscribers most of you guys don't subscribe just do it it's not like it's gonna hurt you. You ain't paying for it. Just subscribe, help a brother out. Help the algorithm, do something. Son of a bitch, let's go off to the next one. All right guys, next property plan, 1874, built by KB Homes. Let's get in here and see what is going on with this guy. And then I just realized something that I am so stupid. The plan model is actually the square footage of the, of the house. So let me double check that because square feet, 187. I'm such an idiot. Look at this. The plan, can you see that? The plan is the same as the square footage. Well, now you know. As soon as you walk into the front door, now this is what they mean, okay? So if you go in the previous videos, okay, or I'm gonna make one really long video and I'll chop it up and then I'll make a bunch of individual ones, but the flex space or like the, the downstairs, if you ever go into uh, the other townhomes that I went into earlier, those ones actually have like a, they made this into a bedroom, but this is what I mean by flex space. So flex space, and I'm sorry that it's so bright, but it, uh, you can make this into a little desk and that goes into your patio, so this makes more sense. Number at the end of it, and that's all you do. So this video is one of those things, and just to show you how easy it is, yeah. this is my dude right here. I'm teaching him oh, how yeah. to do this COVID thing. Uh, there you go, and uh, he's helping me out. KB Home San Pedro, my man over here will take care of you. Call me first, then we'll go talk to him, and then we'll get it all dialed in. But until then, let's get on with this tour. All right, so we're having, uh, we had a little chit chat with my guy at KB Homes, which KB Homes staff, I'm telling you, some of the nicest people out there. I'll go ahead and uh, get one of my guy here, and I'm actually gonna get one of these guys in a video to see exactly how they do things, opposed to how my dumbass does things, because let's just face it, I'm, I'm not good at this. I'm just, whatever. But let's go ahead and get on with it. Damn, you got your half bathroom. It's not that great, but garage access. Let's see, it's just full of shit too, but it's closed. I'm God damn it, shit. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. You don't need to see me going up the stairs, so well, let's just go ahead and skip this part. Too late. We actually already made it to the top of the uh, top of the mountain, top of the hill. This one's long. This one's long. Now I like townhomes because A, you got your living area, and then you do a little swing around, and then you got this little uh, chingadera right over there, which is your island. I like my islands going this way because it kind of gives me a little breakaway, and I like to look at the TVs as they're coming in. This as a TV that's already in this little nook area. I don't like nook areas. If you like it, your world, whatever. Not my cup of thing. Let's go ahead and get on with it. Of course you have you're gonna have to just do a sectional. It'll be weird if you don't have sectional. I mean, I guess you could do a sofa and a, and a love seat, but the sectional here makes the most amount of sense. Living, uh, deep breath. Dining area right over here. And then of course, the mandatory island. Island. This one is actually good. This, uh, this fridge enclosure is actually good because you don't have anything above it. So you can go really, really big. You go really, really small. Two worlds grow. I'm just trying to here get a nut. But it has a nice little L shape. Um, little L shape. What the fuck is this? Uh, countertop. 
pantry area right over here. Well, this was actually better than normal. Half bathroom, you got yourself a coat closet over here. Half bathroom right over here, because I know I've done this a million times, but I have to try to keep it exciting and make it seem like you've never seen a half bathroom. The fuck do you do that? But let's go ahead and go up the stairs. This one, I'm not gonna make you suffer and go up the stairs with me. So I'm just gonna go up the stairs. All right, made it at to the top of the stairs. One thing I do hate about townhomes is the stairs. Now, stairs are good because they'll go ahead and give you a nice little workout and you're gonna have some sick ass calves, but it does get tiring. And if you're a lazy motherfucker like me, it doesn't make it that much better. But off to the right hand side, I still don't understand why you would have master bedroom off the top of the right stairs. You need to have the master bedroom on the other side because I could hear everybody coming up the stairs. But in case you have some little, little naughty kids, that actually that actually w works out because then you know when the little shits are going upstairs and downstairs. And then you have the closet, which are they putting a little in right? They're trying to give you a little. KB Holmes, you dirty sons of bitches. And then you come over here, his and hers, sink, little shower, this one's uh, this is how it comes, okay? So you don't get that nice stuff, you get this kind of like cheapy stuff, and then everything else is kind of upgrades afterwards. And then you, you don't need to see the toilet, but you do have a bathtub. Bathtubs are always good. Let's go down the hallway, check out the rest of this house. This little, um, thing area, what is this, like a hutch? Or whatever. Then you have your other full bathroom that comes off to the right hand side, or coming up, it'll be on your left hand side. This will be for these other two bedrooms over here. You have A bedroom over here. And then B bed, this one's bigger. The bedroom on the left is much, much bigger. It's way, way longer, and this day bed is awesome. Oh, shit. Where did they get this day bed from? This is like, like pottery barn style. Give me a second, I need to find out where this came from. Okay, I got really, really excited there because this is something that I've been looking for for my kid. This is like a, a day bed that's kind of like a, like if you ever go to Pottery Barn and like the rest of the house is pottery, maybe it is Pottery Barn. But this is like a day bed that looks like a, like an oversized couch or, or whatever, but if I find it, I'll put it in the link below so you can kind of figure it out too. Um, I need to find this, but let's go ahead and do a recap. Oh, okay, so let's get on with it. So we have Skyview at Point Vista 27723, Rosewood Lane, San Pedro, California, 90732. HOA is $152, and then you have a gym membership because you know what, it's Southern California, and, and we automatically know that you're gonna go to the gym. So we have a gym membership, $18 a month, and then you have the Mella Fuck Me in the Ass. That's gonna be Melarouz, $3,500. Now, Melarouz is just something in addition to your uh, property tax that you have to pay. It's like a special assessed tax, kind of, sort of. It's just all fancy words for you. You just have to pay more because you have to live here. This is actually gonna be 1,874 square feet, like every other KB home in this San Pedro community. They're all three, uh, three story, three level. This is a four bedroom, three bathroom. And then, like you saw downstairs, you can make that into a flex space. That's what a flex space is. So. Flex space. These actually start at 1.080740, $1,080,740. And like always, if you want to get up to 50% commission, help yourself, help a friend. Link in the description below. If you need any mortgaging assistance, we're always here to help. Link in the description below. It's not a promise to lend, and you know, like you ever read those things, send Alma's ID number, all that other good stuff is down. Uh, Downstairs, downstairs, in the fucking comments. Peace, next one. What's up guys, Omar here, broker and CEO, Alden Mortgage, and Omar Realty. So we're gonna check out this other plan, KB Homes. Let's check you guys, plan number 2542, which to be honest with you, I like the way that they uh, do their um, the plans. Like, you know, you go to these some new developments and they have the Italiante, Vachachi, whatever it is. This, the plan number, 2542 is actually the square footage of the house. So let's go ahead and get inside here and figure this guy out. Well, look at you, you traditional son of a gun, you, and these floors. You know what the best thing about a house is? As soon as you walk in, it's like this 
beautiful, just open, 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 light, bright. Like, it makes you feel like you just came directly out of home because, you know, we've reviewed a couple of different properties and the properties that we have, it's like dark and dungeony. It's like, it's like restoration just threw up inside of the house and you're like, fuck, ah, dude, I just I hate, I hate being so close. But as soon as you walk in, coming off to the left-hand side, left-hand side, we have this bedroom. This is gonna be the first bedroom. Of course, you can make it into a uh, office or you can do everything. And like always, remember, this will have doors. Coming off to the inside of the room, you have yourself a nice little walk-in closet. Walk-in closet is doing its thing. And then you have your full bathroom that is right outside of the guest bedroom. It's actually done really, really, really nicely. I like, uh, I like how the little, what are those mosaic tiles? Or what are those little diamond shape or uh, Whatever, comment below, let me know what kind of tiles those are because I have no idea. You figure that I'd be in real estate for 20 years, I should know this shit, but I, I don't care. I usually let my wife handle this and I've only been married for five years. What did I do before? Whatever, let's go ahead and walk in. As soon as you walk in, you have, well, this is nice and bright and goddamn comfortable. Okay, so you have your kitchen. The island, for a house this size, okay? For a house this size, personal opinion, just my opinion, this is a little bit smaller. The island is a little bit smaller than I am accustomed to with a house this big. Oh shit. But the overall layout of it, especially like you have these little floating shelves that you have over here and everything like that. I just, this is great. This is like a, what do you call it? It's like a, a farm style contemporary or whatever. Six burner stove and then this. This guy right here is the most unappreciated thing in any single house ever. Grabbing a pot, picking it from there, and especially you, I love you, uh, making pasta, right? I'm a big pasta guy. Grabbing the pot, bring it over there, and then bring it over here. If you've never dropped a pot of water before, it's a pain in the ass. But this, if you make a lot of pasta like I do, this thing is great. You just pop it right over here, and then psh, crank that bitch open, and then you're good to go. Sub-Zero fridge. This is one of those expensive ass fridges that I was talking about. If you go back to my other video beforehand, this son of a bitch is like ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. It's really, really expensive. Then you have your kind of like bar, wet bar area. It's like this little nook thing. You come in, it's like a pantry, not a pantry, I'm a pantry, I have no idea. And then off to the left hand side and then you have this nice, all right, I think this is actually, um, I think I actually know where the sofa is. I think if, uh, this is like a living spaces type of thing. I think I've seen it. My wife and I were looking at it earlier. Then of course you have your trifold mirrors. Now trifold mirrors, they help out a lot. And then when, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, oh there we go. That was almost a fail. Now I don't know if you could tell what this does. Like this might be a hard to tell what this does, but this is freaking amazing. You come straight out and it's like, it makes your house 20 times bigger just by having these trifold mirrors that come out. Now for instance, for scale, this is not big. This is very, very small as far as the pattern, but it's covered. So you could barbecue here anytime you want. You could come and hang out and just chill here. And then you have your fire pit, which fire pit covered. And that is really, really necessary, especially when it gets really, really hot out here. Of course, they put out their, um, their, uh, why am I blanking? A, a grill out over there. Let's go ahead and go upstairs and see, wait, what's going on here? Oh, garage access. I'm not gonna open it because they have a bunch of junk in there. Little linen closet, they put a vacuum cleaner. You gotta keep it clean. And then I'm not gonna bore you by going up the stairs because I complain a lot going up the stairs. <laughs> but let's get up there. All right, coming up to the top of the stairs. Now this, that's pretty, that's, that's a very, uh, that's actually pretty smart. Double TVs. Your wife wants to watch whatever reality show that she wants to watch, or your husband wants to watch a game and you get to watch whatever you want. It could actually, um, actually, it actually might be, could cause a fight. Imagine if you're watching one thing and then you have whatever show it is that your significant other watches, but, this is a must. This is where most of the time that everybody spends anyway. Then coming off to the left hand side, you have your bedroom here, little bunk bed, which by the way, I don't know if your kids are as bad as my kids, but that was really, really unsafe. <laughs> my kid threw himself off of it. I don't know what's wrong with that kid. Then you have the master bedroom right off of the loft and 
Damn, this is a pretty big master bedroom. This is a really, really good size master. And I only say, damn, it's big because obviously it's not the biggest one. But as far as cleaning and like uh, everything that you have that goes along with, with, with having a master bedroom, this is a really good size. It's almost like a perfect size. I wish this was a little bit more open, but it is what it is. And then you have your uh, bathroom, this tub. Now, I don't know who's gonna fit in here. Now, I am six foot. 175 pounds and let me can you guys see that scale there we go like this now, it's really really uh, i guess it's good for just one person but imagine if you have uh, somebody else in here oh definitely oh we're going jesus christ i'm getting old oh, oh. okay let's get up and finish this guy all right well, now that we know that the bathtub thing didn't really work out too well, let me fix you guys here for a second. There she is in all of her glory. But you have his and hers sinks right here, which, you know, his and her sinks are really, really cool. They're the best, except for the fact that these counters, it's almost better to have them split and separated. Uh, you could actually get that uh, done. They have these pre-made ones at like Home Depot you could go ahead and get comes with a uh, countertop and everything. It's actually a really, really ingenious idea and it's super inexpensive. It's super easy to go ahead and put in. But you have your stand-up shower. Chingadera. And then this is actually surprisingly a really big walk-in closet. Like I am arm's length out right now. I'm just doing this little fairy ballerina turtle thing and didn't touch anything. Coming on over out to the left-hand side. What is this guy? Oh, you got yourself a coat closet right there. And then I still don't know what the hell these things are. Like, is this is this what is this called a hutch? Is this a hutch? Like this thing that comes out with the cabinets or whatever. Then you have your hallway closet that is meant for the other two bedrooms, his and her sink. You have your nice little shower, which the tiles on this is actually really, really, really nice. The tile work on this is, I like it. I think it's called like a chevron. Coming on over to the other bedroom. Well, that's interesting as shit. I've never seen somebody make a bed like that before where you do it this way. Like, you know how this thing, this little, um, you go to hotels and it's like flipped out like that. They did it long ways. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go over to the last bedroom. And then the last bedroom, I mean, it's nothing too big. It's not like, oh, wow, this is such a huge bedroom. But I mean, it's a good sized bedroom. It's like a 10 by 10. It's got your nice little closet here. Nothing too big. I mean, for your kids, it's, it's all right. And then you have your laundry area. Well, I think that's about all we've done here. But let's go ahead and do a recap on this property. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do a recap here. Uh, this is going to be the Westport at Point Vista, 27723 Rosewood Lane in San Pedro, California, 90732. This is actually gonna be the plan number 2542, and you guessed it, the square footage is 2,542 square feet. One second. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be the Westport at Point Vista, 27723 Rosewood Lane, San Pedro, California, 90732. Now this area, this area as a whole, this is, does, there's uh, three builders. There's Taylor Morrison, there's KB Homes, and then there's um, Meritage Homes. The completion date for this community is not until 2024. So remember, when you do move in, when you do buy a house here, that it is gonna be about, another two, two and a half years before you get a complete build out on all of it. So you're gonna be in a construction zone for a little bit. So this is gonna have an HOA of $450, and then you're gonna have a Melarus. I hate Melaruses, but it is what it is. If you wanna live in a place like this, which is, you know, it's really, really nice. San Pedro, it's like centrally located. It's, it's, it's got all the glitz and glam. Uh, it's going to be, it doesn't really have that much glitz and glam, but it is centrally located. You have LAX, that's not too far, Santa Monica. You have, you're kind of like in the center of everything. 
They're gonna have a total of 60 homes that are gonna get built here. 24 are getting built out right now. And this is going to be the two story. It's gonna be five or six bedrooms because you could turn that loft upstairs into another bedroom if you wanted to. Three bathrooms. Um, and then this is going to have a starting price of 1.334990. Now, like always, this doesn't include most of the stuff that you see here today. Most of the stuff that you see is all upgrades. Now, this is gonna be an additional cost to you. Remember that it is very expensive to go with the builder. Uh, but they do an amazing job and you don't have to worry about chasing down contractors So it's like do you take a little bit of a hit with peace of mind to go with the builder? Or do you go ahead and just go do it all on your own? And then you do a little bit and then you're kind of like, you know You buy a new home and then you're in a construction zone So it's like a catch-22 you save a little bit But it's like you got to do all this stuff unless you're like a handyman or a handy woman and you could do all this stuff yourself DIY YouTube and TikTok does a, a, a lot of great things but there is one cost that I always forget and I don't know why and I drop the ball and I, it's my apologies that all these homes require you to get solar. This is not in addition to, to the price of the house. Or this is, uh, yeah. So uh, you will have to add that in whenever you purchase it. So like always, if you want up to 50% commission rebate on this house, if you need any lending or mortgaging, you want to get refi or anything that you want to do, link in the description below. I'd be happy to help you out with any of it. Hell, if I can't beat the rate, if you, whatever, I can't beat it, whoever you're with. But if I can, save yourself money, I make a little bit, and we're all happy. Next property, let's get out, and get out of here. I just want to make you mine. What's up guys, Omar here, broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Ome Realty, and you better believe I'm just gonna keep putting my, introducing myself because even though this video is gonna go on a loop, I'm still gonna do it because I just like the way that it sounds. Just give me a break, get off my ass. Plan number 2287, KB Homes, San Pedro. Let's go ahead and check this son of a gun out. And close that door. Whoa, hot diggity damn. My mama and you got some jam. This is nice. So as soon as you walk in, okay, as soon as you walk in, let's start from the very beginning. So as soon as you walk in, over to the left-hand side, you have your full bathroom. Full bathroom. Then you have your guest bedroom that's downstairs. And I, I don't know why I always say the guest bedroom is downstairs. Is it just like you seclude your guests away from everybody else? Can't your guests just be up? <laughs> Whatever. Closet down here. And I like how the guest bedroom is downstairs. It always has a window, even though windows downstairs really, really creep me out, especially the ones that open. And then what's this little area right over here? Oh, cold closet as soon as you walk in. And then if you are Middle Eastern like I am, you always know you can't wear shoes inside of the house or you have designated house shoes and it's nice that it's right here next to the front door. But this is nice. Now this is what I talk about. Now this is not big, but it is very, very, very well. Now, okay, so I know it looks like there's something missing over there and there is, there's a TV over there that should be a TV. So just in your mind, picture it, like TV, TV, huge, massive, massive TV. You're watching the football game or whatever else that you watch. You have a really great dining table or um, island right here, Sub-Zero built-in fridge, which built-in fridges, right? You know, for the amount that they are, for as expensive as they are, you always think that they would be so much bigger than what they really are. They're not, they're not really that big. Super expensive and annoying. You got this little mini L-shaped um, uh, countertop for the kitchen and then five burners, which, five burners? I always thought it was six. Pantry area right over here. Do I like this layout? Well, first of all, it's hard, okay? So staging a home does a lot to you, okay? It makes your mind like go and like, you know, you're like, oh, this is how it's supposed to look like. 
They made a little bit of a mistake with these couches. Uh, these couches suck. These couches are terrible. Whatever, it doesn't go with, with the rest of the house. But this little fuzzy son of a bitch right here. That's nice. I don't even know why I'm even looking like that because you are gonna be the person that's gonna design your house. You're gonna be the one that's gonna go ahead and make it the way that you want to. But let's get on with this tour. Dining table, see like, why the hell would you have velvet couches and then have this rustic thing? Like it doesn't even go sense. Like that looks like it should be like in a, in a 70s porn video. And then this one looks like, oh, okay, I'm at home. And, but this is really, really nice. Coming on out here. Oh, trifold mirrors, undervalued. I swear to God, look what it does. It just makes this whole house so much bigger. And then if you have, if you run your tiles outside, like this is, I don't know what this is. This is, oh, this is um, laminate flooring. Laminate flooring, so what you could do is with laminate flooring, right? The laminate flooring that you have on the floor here, you could actually get tile that looks like wood because it's laminate and that is supposed to look like wood. And you could have that run through outside. So they're trying to go for a little gym theme. Of course, you could do whatever you can. I like to be comfortable. I would have made everything really, really comfortable and barbecue and this and that, but TV is a must out, outside. But it's a cozy layer. You could put whatever you want, and, but it's really important that it's c covered. There's a junction box up there. Now, whenever you are getting a new development or any development whatsoever, but majority of new development, junction boxes are gonna be your best friend because junction boxes are something that you get to attach any lighting fixture you want, anything like that, especially out there. I messed up, I didn't get it because I was trying to be a cheap ass and skip out of a couple of hundred bucks, but don't be that guy. Up the stairs, and I know I hate the stairs. Let me get to the top. All right, we're at the top. God, I'm out of shape, all right. So we're gonna come over here, and then this is a little loft area. Once again, they stole the TV from there, picture of TV right over there. This is some, <laughs> the layout could have been better, okay? This is like, it, it could have been better. Now, of course, this is an opinion thing. Opinions are like assholes, everyone has one, including myself. And then you have your laundry area. So here, this is coming up to the top of the stairs, hook it right, and then you have your laundry area. Sink, sink in the laundry area, very, very important. I didn't even know that was a thing but my wife tells me it is, so it is what it is. Master bedroom. And see, see, this is nice. Like, this makes sense. This is all right. Purple velvet couch on stairs, makes no sense. This makes sense. Coming on over here. Uh, this is a little bit interesting, okay? Like, having the toilet right here, looking straight into the thing, they should have just had that off to the side. But it has a really good master closet. Walk-in closet over here. His and hers sink. And then a bathtub right here next to a window so everybody could see all your goodies. Just pop it, pop this like right here, look. You have your shower, you have your bathtub, and boom, window right there. Check me out. All glory be to that window. All right, coming on over to the left side of the house. So you're coming up to the stairs, coming up to the stairs. Towards the left side of the house, you have your other bathroom. The other bathroom, his and hers sinks right here, uh, which will go ahead and be for these two bedrooms. Then you have this bedroom right over here, which is probably about a 12 by 10 foot bedroom, which is actually kind of cute. Maybe I should do something like that for my door. And then you have this, which is another same thing, but then they have this, what is this? Trying This is a hazard waiting to happen. You can't have this with kids around. They're gonna tie it around their neck and something's bad is gonna happen. That is just, yeah. I mean, if they get older, you can, but not a good idea. Well, let's go ahead and do a recap on this property and see what you guys think. All right, sitting on the couch that I really, 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 I don't like this couch at all. But let's go ahead and get on with it. So this is going to be uh, at the West Port at Point Vista, 27723 Rosewood Lane, San Pedro, California, 90732. This is plan number 2287. And yes, they're very clever. The square footage on this is 287. 
with a two in front of it. 2,287, it's a two story, four bedrooms, and of course you can make it a five bedroom because if you want to do the loft, make it another bedroom. It's, you know, your world's grown just trying to get in that three, be three bathrooms. And then it is starting at 1.267,490 million dollars. That is a little pricey, but not pricey because of the area that we're in, and especially for what you're getting. There is an HOA here, HOA is $450, and then Melaru is at $3,500. This is still in the first phase. Well, they're kind of doing the first few phases. Uh, they're doing a 12 and 12, which is gonna be a total of 24 homes built. Total of homes that are gonna get built in this area is gonna be 60, and then what you, I always forget, and I'm gonna start doing this on every single one of my videos, is that you have, so even though it's 1.267 million, 1.267 million, so, I think they require you to have nine panels of solar because we have to be you know, energy efficient down here in California and whatever, what have you. You will have to, in addition to it, pay for your solar. So solar is gonna run you about another $15,000, $20,000. Now you have a choice, you could either buy it straight out or you could lease it, talk to your financial advisor, they'll help you out and whatever it is that they're gonna help you out with. Now, like always though, help you, help a friend, up to 50% commission rebate on it. Link below for any mortgaging or lending assistance in the link below and like always appreciate you guys watching this video if you want to go ahead and help out this channel i know we have like zero subscribers but i'm going to keep doing this i'm going to keep going until uh, somebody ends up watching this and you guys like subscribe share do something to go ahead and help us out and uh, it would be much appreciated and uh let's go ahead and get on to the next property Peace. What's up guys, Omar here, broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Omay Realty. So it's getting dark. It's gonna be the last one that we're gonna do. KB Homes, plan number two, four, four, three, KB Homes, built by KB Homes. And as you guessed it, KB Homes, they're pretty smart with this, clever little suckers. 2,443 square feet this little chingadera is. And let's go ahead and get into this. And what in the Bohemian Rhapsody is this son of a gun? Damn, this is nice. I mean, it's very, very coastal. Coastal contemporary, would you call it? Well, let me show you guys. So as soon as you walk in, you have the stairway. Well, we'll get there in a little bit, and I freaking hate stairs. But you, they put this little, um, I guess you would call it like, you know, where you would toss your keys and things will get lost behind there, but whatever. You have a little nook area there. Off to the left-hand side, you have your bathroom, which is like, it's, I swear to God, it's like, a, it's like living in a beach house. Come over to the guest bedroom. Guest bedroom is pretty good size, 10 by 10, I'm going to assume, and I'm pretty close with these. Pretty damn close with these. You have yourself your little uh, closet right over there. Coming out of here, this is gonna be, which I'm assuming till recently, I didn't know that you there's a closet specifically for towels. Well, that's it. And then coming over here, this is why I was a little bit shocked because it's so like cream and brown. This is like every shade of brown that I've ever seen in my entire life that's in this house. Then you have your island right over here. Your kitchen is off to the right-hand side. So here, look, that's your front door. And then you come straight off to the right-hand side. Here's your uh, kitchen area. It's got this little mini L um, countertop with, with uh, a six burner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. And then you come over here and then it's like, this is like one of those little wannabe wet bar type places, but it's not a wet bar, but it has like this little wine uh, thing. And then what you do is you come across over here and then it's, you know, this is actually very clever. They went ahead and put a little nook area with these floor to ceiling mirrors, which floor to ceiling, mirror, I, anytime you have a lot of mirrors, it's always a great, 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 great thing. But then they made a little nook just for the dining area. You know how some majority of the properties that you will go ahead and see, 
go ahead and uh, like, subscribe to the channel, go through all the videos of all the other uh, properties that we tour. But they made a specific nook just for the dining area right over here that comes straight out into this little patio area. Now, it's not the size. It's not the size. It's the motion in the, um, okay. This is the little patio area, which is a cool design. Like, I don't, like, wh what more could you possibly need? And it's good that it's covered, right? It's good that it's covered, because you want to come and hang out here. And the one thing that would really, really suck, or not suck, the one of the best things of having a covered patio is, I don't know if you guys are like me, but whenever you come out and it's raining, I like to go and sit outside, grab a blanket or something. I know that sounds super cheesy. Give me a break. I'm almost 40 years old. I'd like to do stuff like this now. It used to be once upon a time, I used to go out, have fun. I used to be the cool guy. And now I can't wait to go wear my pajamas. All right, let's go inside. All right, well, then we have the other bedroom. We have this bedroom right over here, 10 by 10. Little closet right over here. And then, oh, this is like a little grid wall. I'm, I'm cool with that. That looks good. And then you come off to the side over here. You have your other full bathroom right over here. And then, oh, this is cute. Look at this. Look at this guy. This is, uh, what, the second, third bedroom. And then we're going to go to the final bedroom, which is right here. So to give you a scale of size, these are two twin size beds and then two twin size beds. This is, uh, this is a pretty good size. You have your little closet, little weird animal heads that are just gonna be staring at you. And then, last but not least, your laundry area. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and head up the stairs, and I know everybody loves how much I go up the stairs, had to close that door. This time you gotta suffer. You gotta suffer with me. We're gonna go up the stairs together. because my legs are burning, because I'm so out of shape, and I also just go up a bunch of stairs all day. So this is a nice little loft area. I love how comfortable and cozy that they made this. Like this is really, really, this is cool. This is really, really nice. Like you're gonna come here and you're gonna hang out. You're gonna lounge, you're gonna do your thing. Picture a TV here. You're definitely gonna need a TV there. The more TVs the merrier in my world. Coming off to the stairwell. So here's the stairwell and then we're gonna go ahead and go up to our right. And then you have your master bedroom. This is kind of a small closet, but you know what they do whenever they have a small closet? They kind of do a little sneaky trick to you. Which, and this is another sneaky trick. They have another closet here. So, women, men, whatever you have, you could have one, the other person can have the other. Really, really nice size bedroom and windows. Windows are very important in any single house that you go to. And this one has one, two, three, four. I mean, it's, it might as well just be completely all windows. Imagine if they had windows back there too. That'd be really sick. Okay, and then you come in, and I like how they did this guy. This is. I mean, I don't know other than aesthetics, right? Like what would be so great? Like wouldn't it be just more, I mean, it's nice, right? I would put cabinets all the way to the top so I have more space, you know, I'd utilize as much space, but this is pretty cool. Then of course the closet and then we have the bathroom. I'm not gonna show you the toilet, okay? There's nothing special about the toilet, but the toilet is right here, whatever. I refuse to show you the toilet, but here's the toilet. Coming over here, you have his and her sink right on yonder. And then of course the, the wonderful little bathtub that you can go ahead and sit there. And then you can stand up and show your neighbors all that God has gifted you. And if you don't feel like going in the bathtub, then you could just jump in the shower. Leave that thing on and just be like, here you go, take it. Well, let's go ahead and review the property, give you a little run breakdown and, and then we'll go from there. All right. Oh shit, I think I broke it. Typically I go into like living room area or another room only because I think, but this room is so cute. It has this little thing, this little cathedral type of thing. And I just thought it was really, really nice. So what do we got going on over here? Okay, so this is going to be, wrong one. Wrong one. All right, so today we're at the Westport at Ponta Vista, 27723 Rosewood Lane, San Pedro, California, 90732. KB Homes built, uh, this is going to be plan number 2443, and, and KB Homes, the little clever suckers that they are, this is actually 2,443 square feet. It's a two-story 
five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and of course you saw the loft. HOA here is going to be $450. Malibu is going to be between three and $3,500. And uh, just so you know, whenever you get a property around here, and this goes for majority of new developments, right? Majority of new developments are all around the same thing. Solar is a big thing here in Southern California. Solar is a massive thing. So when you do purchase a house, the house will not come with solar. You'll have to add that on unless you buy the model homes and then the model homes are already gonna have all that integrated within it. Now the price point on these ones is gonna be starting at 1.294 million. And that is going to be all she wrote. And that is gonna conclude our day. I am tired, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go have a beer and I am finished. But if you are interested in this property or any other property, just remember the link in the description below up to 50% commission rebate on this property or any other property. And for all mortgaging assistance, hit that like, subscribe button, help this channel grow. And until next video, guys, peace. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and stand corrected, okay? We have went ahead and uh, stayed back a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and introduce one of the guys, really, really super nice guy. KB employees are always really, really, really cool. They always help out us brokers with giving us information that we need, helping us out, get an idea of what's going on in the surrounding areas. But this property as we have, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's Sam. Sam, Sam, he's one of the sales guys here at KB Homes. He's the guy that you're gonna, oh, he's the first person you're gonna see when you come in. Other than me, you're gonna see me first. Then you're gonna go ahead and see Sam. And then Sam, this property, okay? These properties that we have going on over here, which ones are we have? What are the HOAs and what do people need to know about these properties before that normal people wouldn't really ask? Well, right now you can kind of get in on the first phase, which is typically when you want to get in with the builder, uh, the HOA here is uh, roughly 210. It's guard gated. Um, we have a pool, a spa, uh, bar. Okay. So typically when you have new builds, right? They have a bunch of different phases that they have going on. Typically with your experience, right? Working with new builders, um, how long does each phase take? And typically rough ballpark it, how many phases does it usually take until completion? Each project's a little bit different. Right now we see a build cycle of about six months from dirt to completion. Uh, sometimes it's nine months, but usually six months is about what is to be expected. Which is a relatively really, really respectable time to go ahead and give a new build, especially when you have these types of caliber homes, right? So whenever you are thinking about buying homes, First phase is always the best phase to get into. The first phase is like the business because every single time that you purchase a house, Sam, what happens to the next house? Price goes up. Price goes up, everything increases. So your comp is gonna be beneficial to you as it keeps going and keep going. So if you get into the first phase, you're gonna already be bankrolling later on down the line. Typically, and correct me if I'm wrong because you are the better guy to ask these things, they usually take about two to three years, rough ballpark to complete the whole entire project. Is that kind of a ballpark? That's about right. Each project is a little different. Yeah, we see about two to three years. My man, Sam. Well, Sam, <laughs> KB Homes, San Pedro Square. Please go ahead and hit up, man. Hit me up first, then we'll go ahead and meet Sam. Sounds good. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate we all the information. Absolutely. And I will live Lincoln by if you have Instagram or anything like that. If you do, I'll get it from him later, but we'll go ahead and worry about all that stuff later. Till next video, guys. Peace.